we've been talking you up all year. It looks a racing three um, for Div 2. Teacher Gully, yourselves and Port District, you don't want to take anything for granted, but uh, tell us a little bit about uh, how you've been travelling this year. Well, we we started uh, quite a little bit slowly. We lost our first two games and then we got on a bit of a roll and managed to push ourselves up to, we got up to the top spot there at one stage and we've, uh, since then we've had a few ups and downs. We had a, um, some good good win against T3 Gully, a, a, a good win against Walkerville out there. Then we had a, a, a loss to Port Districts where they came from behind after we were in control of the match and ran over the top of us, which was, uh, uh, I suppose, a good learning uh, day for us. And then um, we, had a, we had a tough game last week against uh, Portland. So we, we got ourselves back up to top again on percentage. But as you said, there's three sides that were all equal there. And then, uh, then uh, the loss last week's put us back to third, and it's pretty tight in that uh, even in the uh, there's still a few um, spots up for grabs in the finals. There. It, it is looking like you'll be top three. How can you? I mean, footy's a funny game, isn't it? How can you explain 91 point win the first time round and four goal loss, like a 20 goal turnaround? Yeah, I'm still trying to work that one out. Yeah. <laughs> How many players you lost to go to the snow? Uh, oh, a few, a few here and there, yeah. a few here and there, but but not not uh, yeah. One a week for the last few weeks, but they're yeah. all back now. So Frustrating, isn't it? A little, little coach. A little bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and tell us, I mean, you look like you've got a good, consistent side on paper, but who's been standing out this year? Who's had a really good year so far? Uh, well, Andrew McIntyre has been, been mm. terrific for us. He's, uh, he's been quite dominant, actually. Um, what position? Half back. So yeah, yeah, he's been, been terrific. Um, he's unfortunately hurt himself, so he's going to be... Uh, we're going to have to do something about that. We're going to have to try and... Someone else is going to have to fill, it, fill that space, but... Um, Brad Davis has been very consistent for us as well, as well as uh, the Painter brothers, Will and, uh, and Seb Painter. They've been terrific. So, so that's Johnny Painter's? Yeah, John Painter's sons. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know Seb, Seb's, a, Seb's a, a dead ringer too on the, on the footy field. Mm-hmm. Moves, yeah, it's remarkable the way that he moves. is very similar. Josh, I wonder he didn't go to St. Peter's. Uh, no. Yeah, well, he, they actually went to school at um, PAC. Did they? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jack taught at St Peter's and I think he played at Spock too. Yeah, he's yeah. a teacher. He, yeah. Yeah, I remember yeah, I was playing some of my cricket games when yeah. I was in primary school. So. Yeah. yeah, but he taught at PSC, did he? He taught at St Peter's. Oh, OK. And, and yeah. coached Spock to a premiership, I think, yeah. Yeah. in 95, I think. Two, those two schools have got some rich, they've got some rich football uh, so, pedigree. You know, I've talked about PSC, like Marty yeah. McKinnon, Peter Budner and all that, yeah. Tommy Javor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and yeah, you yourself, yeah. very, I don't know if we can mention where you're teaching at the moment, can you? Yeah. Black, black, still black, yeah, still yeah, yeah, still yeah, black, yeah, mate, yeah, still doing it? Yeah, yeah, still there, yeah. yeah. Just, uh, Has Mace gone back there? Yes, Mace is there. Yeah. He's back there as sportsmaster or? Uh, no, he's the uh, he's director of curriculum, actually. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. So he's very yeah. important man. Had a break and uh, Oh just one year. That was um that was a few years ago now. He had one year at Norwood. He went to Norwood, yeah. 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 He he enjoyed it but uh, thought he'd I think it was just a bit too much football for him. Very long hours in, in football that was. <laughs> now I heard a rumour about four weeks ago that this might be your last year as a coach. How much truth is in that? Oh, Family all be. of a sudden and now? Well, well, I've been told it's because he's been signed up to do the Bruce Dickinson tribute show. <laughs> <laughs> but hey. I'd love to. But, uh, <laughs> I don't think I could have the talent or the, uh, yeah, or the time to do that either, uh, Tom. But uh, uh, well... We'll see how things go, but at the um, end of the year, yeah, yeah. But uh, there's obvious. I going into this, um, you know, two years was going to be, and then three to stretch, and this is my third year. So uh, kids are uh, kids are getting a little bit older, and yeah. there's a bit of, bit of pressure on there. Wife needs to get back to work now. So let's yeah. assume you uh, let's just you know fast forward the clock. You get whether you win the grand final, you get get promoted to Div One. You wouldn't be tempted to hang around Div One and have a crack at Div One for a year. Oh, of course, but um, that's a that's a way off yet. And, yeah. Um, you know, I, but it, hey, if 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 all, if all was to go to plan and yeah. we were to get there and win it, well, I'd be probably happy to yeah. to the let someone of, take uh, over. The loss of Kerners. Yeah, that's a bit of a loss. It I mean, is, it's good yeah. for him yeah, it's as GM, and I think it's a great move for Amateur League mm. to finally go down that track. But the loss to uh, Blacks. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a big loss. He's uh, he did a lot of work around the place, and mm. um, but having said that, he sort of stepped aside. Uh, you know. Took a back seat uh, last year when he when he went on to the, um, oh, the executive yeah, and, and uh, so he's um, we've tried to get some other people to take over from him. So it wasn't he didn't cut ties straight away. Sort of was able to hand it over a bit. Yeah. So yeah, it's a, it's a, it's great for him though. Terrific and great for the league, I think. Who do you rate as the best side in Division Two other than Unis? Oh, after last week, probably Portland. 
<laughs> it may not resolve. But uh, no, I think uh, well after the first round, uh, there was uh, the standouts were uh, were districts, port districts, um, and uh, we had a really really good win against Tea Tree Gully. That was uh, Tom Martin's two hundredth game, so the players yeah. were up for that, and we managed to just get over the top of them. But but Walkerville always tough to play, obviously Portland as well. Um, but you've got when I mean you look at the table there, the top top few. Are, um, you would say one, two, three, and four. Well, one, two, and three are definite. The Portland, Modbury, Walkerville, that's up for grabs. Yeah, exactly. They're, yeah. Uh, they're that uh, very similar. And Portland probably drop out. But uh, you guys with Port Districts. No, I think they will. I, I, I think they, they've only got a young side. And uh, Chef always seems to get Walkerville up around the mark come mm -hmm. finals time. And they'll have to win today, they'll have to beat us today, you'd say, walking yeah. with only uh, maybe four games to go after yeah, this If they lose today, I mm. think it's going to be hard for them. Tea Tree mm. Gully be the uh, benchmark? It, I'd say so, yeah. They're just looking at how many goals they've managed to kick. I think they kicked 27 last week against yeah. Eastern Park. So, yeah. Yeah. Eastern Park not having a good year. Look, mm. Max, I want to ask you about one of your, this, this isn't a stitch up, you're one of your great friends, Mark Roberts, actually uh, talked to me a little bit about the culture. A lot of people wouldn't understand the culture of Adelaide Junior. There's a lot of teams. I don't know if you want to keep it in-house or not. Can you discuss what happens at the awards? A uh, lot of singing, a lot of uh, funny stories, uh, not much. It's very, we, we don't want to go too much, but it's very well structured, isn't it? Yeah, it's, really... yeah, yeah. it's something that uh, Fred Block uh, brought to the club years ago. Great man. And, uh, really? and it's the players to their credit, and the clubs to their credit, trying to keep it going. And so they take ownership of it pretty much, don't yeah. they? Someone writes the song and something Yeah, like. there's usually a new song most weeks. and. Um, yeah, and uh, Matt Allen, a great club man, he, he gets things organised every week and he's the one who's in charge of collating all the stories from all the coaches and and then one presenter gets up and away they go. I heard that, uh, I saw this week in the paper, Cornsy getting a jumper from Bob Neal. Yeah, I, he uh, he was, Cornsy was guest speaker at a, a, um, a Grey's lunch they had yesterday at, uh, at the Cumberland Arms and um, and I saw a photo yesterday with Cornsy with, with Bob Neal actually mm. and... Uh, the sign that said uh, Bob Neal for the Hall of Fame, I think yeah. it said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gee, there have been some good players go through uni over the years, isn't there? and mm. one of them, I've actually seen him in a couple of weeks, uh, Jimmy Katsaris turns up every week, I think, to watch the boys play. Very yeah. passionate about it. Yeah, he's not players. far away, he just wanders down and has a look and uh, quite often his, his uh, sons are still out there watching yeah. as well. Yeah, um, is, right. What is the uh, support like, uh, as in number-wise? Attendance-wise for uni games, would you say it's uh, more or less than some of the other clubs? Uh, definitely, when we play away, uh, it's probably a bit less. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> at home, we get we get reasonable crowd. We, we should have a good crowd today. We're actually having a mini league game at, the, at half time today, so that should bring in quite yeah. a few. And uh, the players in this mini league are sons of. Uh, sons of past players and yeah. Yeah, anyone they could scrape up actually. Yeah, really? uh, Malcolm Ashwood would uh, uh, been rounding that. I saw, so. I saw Malcolm oh. last night. I was surprised he didn't mention it. Yeah. The rule book. <laughs> Best done by an Guess what he sold me? Guess what he sold me? Yeah, fancy yeah. yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's actually done a great. He's actually been in charge of getting a lot of past players back and contacting them. And um, once he gets someone's number, it's, uh, he doesn't give up. And he's been uh, getting lots of sponsors. He'd be good to players, continue so. doing that, not umpiring. Uh, is he is he umpiring the mini league game? Uh, I don't know actually. I don't know. I don't know that he's doing much umpiring. Is West playing? <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> give me, give we, better, we better get on to today's yeah, games, mate. No, we yeah. The first one's Eastern Park and Mobile. I, I can't believe Eastern Park had come down from Div One and, and had a draw. Um, I, I, yeah, I can't see any but might be a victory here, Mark. If you've seen them firsthand. So. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, it's uh, at, oh, it's at Eastern Park though. Mm. Yeah, so well, that's the yeah, team you know, they drew with as well. Yeah. Uh, they drew with Mobbery and Rihanna. Yeah, they're they're going to beat someone sooner or later. Um, we had a tough game out there where uh, they hit the front um, in the third quarter, and uh, a couple of their players got on a bit of a roll. Um, mm. O'Loughlin in particular. So Ricky. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So and with him and Zach Miller in the side, you know, they, if they can get a bit of a run on at home, who knows? And that's all ground. My bit sure. My bit win there, mate. Yep. Uh, Port Districts and Old Iggies, um, again, Port Districts in, uh, sitting in second look, uh, look like they're going to have a real tilt at the Premiership or at least a, or a promotion. Uh, Old Iggies, uh, look, relegation bound, looks like it's Div 3 next year for Old Iggies and yeah. I'd suggest uh, Port District pretty much will seal that play today yeah, with a soft, strong win. Yeah, 10 goals, so, easy. Yeah, yeah. Um, Flinders Park and Tea Tree Gully, look, Flinders Park uh, had a couple of, I mean, they had that the count loss to Portland and a couple of other very narrow losses. At five and eight, probably not a true reflection on how dangerous a team they are. Uh, they, yeah, they're five and eight. Um, but Tea Tree Gully, I tell you what, uh, they're, they're a very hard team to stop. 
Uh, the mm. team looks great on paper. I haven't. I've only seen highlights, but video highlights of them play this year. But from all reports, they look the team to beat. So you'd suggest Teetree Gully. You think so? Yeah. And um, it depends if Flinders Park can be good on their day. It depends if guys like uh, Nick Schwartz plays and uh, a few others like that. But you think Teetree Gully have too much depth? Yeah, Teetree Gully got too much depth, mate. And, uh, they'll they'll win that uh, pretty easily, I would think. Yep, uh, next one's Prince Alfred in Portland. Um, now, Benny from Abba, he's got a nervous trot about him today. He, uh, we put, uh, Prince Alfred, a bit of under, underachievers this year. They'll stay up in the division, but I really thought they'd do a lot more damage. Um, uh, I guess, you know, Portland have won eight games, but uh, a real danger game for them. I'll tip Portland, but uh, I'll do it with great reservation. If they can tackle like they did last week, they should beat, uh, beat them, but... Um and PAC got lots of injuries and they've lost a few guys yeah. to the SNFL club. I think well. Portland will win that and um, win it reasonably well. Budget's about right, 13 to 24. I think that'll happen that way. Yep, and um, with Modbury playing Eastern Park, you'd expect Modbury to have that win. Uh, puts a bit of pressure. Walkerville will be aware that uh, if they want to play finals, they've got to knock off a scout. They're probably going to do it today. Uh, so they'll be heading to your ground um, and they'll be ready for you, mate. Uh, mm. Where do you think you can win the game? Where do you hope you can win the game? Um, the last time we played them, I felt that uh, they played their small ground really well, and they, they bottled the game up a bit, and then and then tried to uh, to spread really quickly. Yeah. Um, on our on our ground, we, we should have uh, some good good legs, but we've got a few guys. Well, we've got a few uh, a few changes this week. We've got a few guys. Uh, Stuart Edwards plays his first A grade game for the club today, which would be great for him. The condition um, of your oval? Good. It's good. Yeah. Not at the mud bath, mud uh, flats of Walkerville. No. So no. it should go in your favour. But I reckon Adam West would be putting a bit of homework into this game. Yeah. Uh, with a key so. to uh, old Westy and uh, our old mate. And they've got about. I th saw they've made about eight or nine changes to their mm. side this week. Wow. Um, so uh, I was saying uh, a couple of them, they've dropped about four or five to the B grade, and I think three of those were in their best players in the A grade last week. So they're. Uh, so they were obviously, uh, you know, didn't take yeah. that boss too well. <laughs> no, they didn't, and they willed the axe. And uh, for that reason, I think uh, Adelaide Uni, the budget's got it right, 25 to 36. I think uh, Uni will do it. I think it'll be a very, very close game, and I think Uni will just get over the line. But uh, Walkerville, like I said, they'll be aware that it's, you know, last chance to loom pretty much. Um, they could be a game and a half off Modbury if they were to drop today with four rounds to go. It makes it near impossible. I can't see them actually uh, winning. Mm. I think Uni is starting to build. All right. Thanks very much for being on the show, Mark. You've been sensational as always. Um, you're Grenville Dietrich's son's favourite teacher for obvious reasons. Anyone you want to thank, mate? Sammy? Oh, not Sammy. Sammy's the older one, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. that's who I talk. Yeah, yeah. 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 Black yeah. Um, well, yeah, we've, we've, we've been very lucky this year to have the Come Our Arms uh, come on and sponsor us and provide a, a room of our own upstairs so we can run our uh, presentations up there, which is terrific. So, so uh, the, the guys enjoy getting back there and... Um, Having, having that sponsorship is fancy, very important. Fancy going to a parent-teacher interview with uh, Grandfall and <laughs> Trimmers. <laughs> yeah, it'll be, be interesting. Uh, uh, sorry, oh, so you need to extinguish that cigarette before you come in. Uh, no, mate, well, best of luck today and uh, and for the rest of the year. I'm sure you'll feature in finals. We look forward to getting out and seeing some of those finals. I hope so. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate.